Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. Today let's solve remove nth node from the end of a list. So we're given a linked list and all we need to do is remove the nth node from the end of the list and then return the new list. So that's pretty straightforward, right? So in this case, we got five nodes. We just want to remove the n equals two, so meaning the second node from the end of the list, right? So this is the first from the end of the list, this is the second. So we remove this and then we return this list, which now has four elements remaining. So what's the easiest way to solve this? Well, they say from the end of the list, that's inconvenient. If it was from the beginning of the list, it'd be super straightforward, right? N equals two, remove this node. How can we make that even easier? I mean, what if these pointers were reversed? Can't we just reverse this linked list, start from here, and then remove the second node, and then we're done? That's definitely a possible solution, but it requires reversing the linked list, which we don't actually have to do. And I'm gonna show you the easier way to do it. So let's say n equals two again. So we wanna remove this node. So how can we identify that this is the second node from the end of the list? Like a lot of linked list questions, we can use two pointers, but how are we gonna make use of our two pointers? So what if I had two pointers, right? A left pointer and a right pointer. The left pointer is at the beginning of the list and the right pointer is shifted by n equals two. So our right pointer is gonna be shifted one and then it's gonna be shifted again, and our right pointer is gonna be over here. So now we're just gonna keep shifting our pointers until this right pointer is at the end of the list, and watch what happens when we do that. So we're just gonna be shifting each pointer by one, and this is gonna make sure that the space between these pointers is exactly equal to n, which is two, right? So now we're gonna shift by one again, making sure that the gap between them is still two. Now we're gonna shift one last time because right is almost at the end. So now our right pointer is at null, right? It's at the end of the list, it can't go any farther. And our left pointer is exactly at the node that we want to delete. And the reason is because remember the offset between these two is n, making sure that we have the node we wanna delete. Now there's only one problem. We have access to the node that we wanna delete, but we wanna delete it. How do we delete it? The only thing we have to do is take this pointer, cross it out, and then reassign it over here, right? Once we've done that, we've gotten rid of this node. So the problem is we're at this node when really we wanna be at this node if we wanna delete this node. And this can actually be solved by another pretty common technique, the dummy node, right? So we're gonna actually have another node that we insert at the beginning of this list that we don't really use. And the main thing that's gonna happen is, happen is instead of our left pointer, instead of our left pointer being initialized here, we're actually gonna initialize it at the dummy node. So left is really gonna be initialized here, and our right pointer though is still gonna be initialized over here. So in reality, when our right pointer reaches the end of the list, we will have a left pointer at three, and then we can update its pointer, removing this node that we wanna remove. And to return the new linked list, all we have to do is take our dummy pointer and say return dummy.next, which is gonna be this node. And since this is a two pointer technique, the time complexity is gonna be big O of N. So just like in the drawing, the first thing we really wanna do is create a dummy node. We don't really care what the value of this node is, but I'll just say zero but we wanna make sure that the next pointer of this node is set to the head of the list because we're inserting it at the beginning. Next, we can initialize our left pointer to dummy and we want our right pointer to be head plus two, right? Or 
head plus n, whatever n happens to be. So we need a loop to do that, right? We can't just do that with a calculation. So we can initially say right is equal to head and while n is greater than zero and right is not null, we wanna keep shifting right. So shift right by one and decrement n by one. Because once n equals zero, that means we've shifted by the amount that we wanted to shift by. And the last thing we wanna do is keep shifting both of our pointers now. Now we're shifting left and right, and we're gonna keep going until right equals, until right reaches the end of the list. So we can shift our left pointer, and we can shift our right pointer. Now, last but not least, we actually want to delete the node. And remember, all we need to do to delete is update the left node's next pointer. And it's going to basically be shifted by one. So left.next is going to equal left.next.next. .next. So for example, if my left node was at my left pointer was at this node, its next pointer is at two, but I wanna set its next pointer to two's next pointer. So basically what I'm doing is this. And we know that dummy.next is at the head of our list, which is what we wanna return. We wanna return the updated list. So we can just return dummy.next. We don't want to include our dummy node in the output. We never wanted to add a node to the list. We just wanted to remove a node. So our solution works beautifully. We could have just reversed the list, but we definitely did not need to do that. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It supports the channel a lot, and I'll hopefully see you pretty soon.